Hey, Jeff Big Daddy Wayne here with my YouTube channel, Big Daddy Knows. The question today is, should Andrew Yang be the vice presidential candidate on the Democratic ticket? As you know, Andrew, as of this date, has not endorsed anyone. Instead, he's pushing his uh, humanity forward, his, uh, his organization to help the world. Because he is a man with a big heart. He wants to help. And one of the ways he's helping right now is by not endorsing the two Democratic presidential candidates because he should be the presidential candidate. However, he's smart to hold off and not jump on the bandwagon like everybody else because we just know Joe, Joe Biden, the guy that was behind a lot of shovel-ready projects and looks like one, it's a little iffy with him, you know. Bernie, eh, who can talk with Bernie? Bernie's like that guy from Taxi, a crazy old uncle running around, but... Hey, that's who they chose. So anyway, let's try to think about this. If he was the vice presidential candidate, he certainly would aid the ticket. Because you know, the Democrats love to pride themselves with being diversity. We're diverse. Well, how diverse are they? They got rid of all the black candidates, all the Latino candidates. Well, they had a nice Asian, but uh, uh, they didn't know what to do because of course, that's not the minority they're looking for to come out and vote. Not quite enough of them. And of course, Asians don't suffer enough. That's the, you're going to be suffering. They want to help you. We want to help you. We can help you. Just like they do the, the kids in Chicago. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to ask yourself a question. Why am I endorsing or thinking Andrew should be the vice presidential candidate? Well, I'll tell you why. Now, one of the reasons I think Andrew Yang should be the vice presidential candidate of the Democratic Party is, look at Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe, you know, God bless his heart. It's like dementia set in. I mean, you just listen to him. It's going fast. So if Andrew's there, he's ready to take his place. And also Bernie. You know, Bernie's no spring chicken. And Bernie's already had the heart thing. And when he gets wound up and he starts pounding, ah, it could happen at any minute. So I'd like to have a guy like Andrew in place to become president of the United States, achieving a couple of things. First, it would make America think harder. Second, we would have an unrepresentative minority in the great American diversity in the front row seat, which is needed and wanted. Well, we know he might run for mayor in New York, which would be a, ah, I don't know. Should that be the place to, as a platform to run for president? Because it didn't help de Blasio. And it certainly didn't help Giuliani when he tried that little game. Uh, but... Maybe you'd give him a platform to 2024. Maybe he'll hold back to the last minute to endorse the presidential uh, uh, candidate of the Democratic Party because, you know, we don't know what could happen. Who knows? Hillary might run again. Hillary has a lot of power, you know. Anyway, people say, Jeff, why are you still pushing Andrew? Well, I'll tell you why. I have all this, this, this campaign stuff. I have the math hot. Uh, the left foot and the right foot sock going forward. The Yang pants. Da 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 da. What am I going to do with all this? Well, if he becomes the vice presidential candidate, these become valuable collector's items. Uh, just like Joe Biden's running for president buttons back from 88. Ah! <laughs> Didn't remember that, did you? Anyway, I just want to say let's find out. Tell me, comment. Do you think Andrew Yang should run for vice president or? pitch himself as vice president, and then I will forward that through my inside contacts and sources I have in several high-level key positions that I can't reveal to you or I'll give them up. Anyway, tune in and view Big Daddy Knows.